that the fastest monk build is here. Now if you do have beat lower resonance, I have another build for you, but you still should check this build out if it works for you. This is going to be the fastest one you ever played with a monk. Now this is faster than Barb, Wizard, Blood Knight, Demon Hunter. This might not be faster than Crusader. And I will be checking out Crusader next. This will be my next class and I will be changing soon. But without further ado, let's go to the skills. So we're using Fist of Thunder. This is just to dash to the packs. Then we use Exploding Pal to dash through the packs. Same thing with the Mystic Strike. We're just dashing through the pack after we use the Fist of Thunder. Then we have Shield Zen for the movement speed. As you can see here, we have 40% movement speed. And I have a few tricks on my pocket to have this up all the time. Now we have some options in the last slot. At the moment, it is a wave of light which will explode your wall screen basically. But if you do have a bit more resonance, you can also use something called Imprisoned Fist to get one extra dash there and just be a tiny bit faster. I'm not sure which one I like more, but they both work. So let's carry on. Now, first off, we will start with the set items. In the set items, we are using two pieces of Bangwits of Ice because we do have those dots on the enemies all the time. So that's 15% damage increase basically all the time. So this is just a no-brainer for me. And then we are using two pieces of Vitus Urge. This is only for our Shadow Zen, which kind of can sound ridiculous, but hold on because we do need that 40% movement speed. We have to use this, otherwise we don't have that all the time. And lastly, we are using four pieces of Gloom Good Price. This will give us 15% damage increase every time we dash through the pack with Palm or with Mystic Strike or if we do use the Imprisoned Fist with a dash that also works. And don't forget that every time you do use your Shadow Zen, even if it doesn't have a dash, because it can dash to your party members every time you use it, it will also proc the Gloom Good Price. So you will get Basically from your every ability, 15% damage increase and 22.5% critical hit chance. If you do use the wave of light, you don't get this, but you don't really need this buff with wave of light anyways. Now you do have another option over here. If you don't like the inconsistency of Gloom Goods price, you can change that to four piece of Isatar. Now the first piece, first pieces gives you 30% bonus speed every time you kill something, but this is completely unusable with this build because we do have that 40% movement speed so you are not gaining anything for those two pieces but from the four pieces you will get 25% damage increase instead of the 15% damage increase and 22.5% critical hit chance increase from the gloom goods price now this is up all the time gloom goods price is up all up almost all the time and basically whenever you need it but this is pretty more consistent DPS while the Gloom Goods price averages a bit more DPS. But you can choose between whichever you want. Now, next up, we are going over the essences. And the first and one of most important ones is the Witching Palm. With Witching Palm, we are getting lightning emitting from our dash on Fist of Thunder. And we should be dashing with the Fist of Thunder every single time we see a pack and get this. And then we use another abilities. Now, we are using Order Without Sin 2 with the Fist of Thunder. Because when we do see a yellow monster, we need a little bit more damage. And leaving the ball of lighting over there is usually enough to get rid of the yellow one too. Now with the Shell to Zen, we are using Calefaction to get the burn effect. And as you can see, I do have my Awakening with 10% cooldown reduction. You basically need two for the Shell to Zen for this build to work. If you don't have those, you should check out my other build in the description or in the pinned comment. I will also show it on the end of the video if you do still want to check this video out. But this will burn the enemies, making it possible to just run past them or dash past them with other abilities 
and with ease and clarity here's the magic because we get the 40 percent movement speed for four seconds of course the four seconds is not a long duration and hence we do need two awakening slots to decrease the cooldown and also we do need the pensive chrome to get 39 percent increased duration for the shelters and which actually also affect the ease and clarity so the ease and clarity does get 39% increased duration from the shield vision and from the urges. And if you do have the 30% cooldown reduction, then you can have that up all the time. So then you have 40% movement speed up all the time, which is what we need for this build. Now with the mystic strike, we're using branding bond just to get the lightning strike so we can dash through the enemy packs. Every, every time after we have dashed to them with the Fist of Thunder. Same thing with the Palm and Obstruction of Omniscience. We just dash to them with the Fist of Thunder and then we dash through them with the Exploding Palm. Now lastly, we have the Shimmelin. If you are using the Wave of Light variation, we are using Shimmelin. That just explodes basically your wall screen. You don't need Awakenings here. I do have this my fourth awakening here but you do not need awakenings here you can have if you want but first off you need the awakenings for your shield of zen now here we have the other variation if you are using imprisoned fist and you want to be a little bit faster we are using rising tide so we can dash or basically jump to the pack now with this we are not using fist of thunder because this is not the this is not fastest nor is it an instant dash like mystic strike so with this we want to dash to the pack so when you have the max range you just jump to the pack deal damage to them and your shield and deals damage to them and then they should go down and you just continue to the next pack otherwise with every other ability you should first use fist of thunder this is an exception and now if you want to make your life a little bit easier or you don't have super high resonance you should be using wipers bite with this build or well you should be using wipers bite on every single open world build i think wipers bite is one of the best gems for open world build because you get six seconds of dot effect which is basically almost 30 to 50 percent of the enemy hp depending on your resonance and damage this will immensely help you with the build if you have a little lower resonance if you have a super high resonance you don't really need to care about this but if you do have a little less resonance like i do or even less than i have then you want to use this one now i also should mention on the pan slots you can use the traveling skull if you do have a bit more resonance which also works really well with the rising tide because now you have two abilities that you want to use to dash to the packs instead of using the fist of thunders so if you do use the rising tide with imprisoned fist you might want to consider using traveling skull making the gameplay more consistent without using so many fist of thunders and just dashing to the packs with traveling skull or with the rising tide backup imprisoned fist or mystic strike and lastly i will go through the paragons and we are using warden and why do we use the warden well with the warden we are increasing our maximum size which will increase our movement speed we are also doing the same thing from the warband aka using the protector room and with the protector room we do get the chalice that increases our size by 15 percent which is just 15 percent increased movement speed and i do have a video about that on the descriptions if you don't believe me how that works all right i'll quickly go through how you should play this build although i already explained it a little bit and you should already have pretty good image how you should be playing this build but with the fist of thunder you should be dashing to the enemies to get the twitching palm effect afterwards you dash through them with exploding palm and keep going to the next pack then again using fist of thunder then using mystic strike after the fist of thunder and do the same thing just dash through the enemies keep walking and fist of thunder to the enemies then using wave of light and again start walking again now of course you will 
use your shelters in every single time it comes off cooldown so you have the movement speed and the burning dot around you now with the imprisoned fist variation it's a bit different with the imprisoned variation you want to jump to enemies with the imprisoned fist instead of the fist of thunder and you might want to make the gameplay a bit more consistent and just use the traveling skull with the mystic strike and also use that to jump to the enemies instead of fist of thunder you should still use the fist of thunder before you use exploding bomb just to get those two dashes and be a little bit faster but anyways this is how you should be playing the build pretty easy if you ask to me if you want to check out the lower resonance open world build you will see it on the screen right now and i will catch you on the next one